In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called domain and range from the graph of a quadratic function. We're given this graph and told that our vertex is at 1, negative 3, and we're asked to find both the domain and the range. And we should recall that the domain is all possible values of x for this function. So looking along the x-axis, and recognizing that this quadratic continues to go up and out our domain in interval notation. As it continues to go out, this quadratic would eventually cover all values of x. So we could say that our domain goes from negative infinity to positive infinity, essentially that it would cover all values of x. And when we look at the range, we see here that it's similar. However, this is all possible values for y. And we notice that while this graph continues to go up forever, it doesn't continue to go down forever. The lowest value on the y-axis that the quadratic has is negative 3 there at the vertex. So the smallest y-value is negative 3, and that's inclusive because it does exist where y equals negative 3, and it continues to go up from there. And for infinity, we always use the rounded bracket to show that it is not inclusive. So we have shown all possible values for x, the domain, and all possible values for y, the range, for this quadratic function.